15. Peter was one who would be one of the chief cornerstones of the apostles. But a tragedy happened to him. They locked him and they kept him bound hand in chain so that his voice would be silenced. But the Bible says prayer was made by the church to God for him. And when the angel came, there were three levels of deliverance. Number one, he broke him out of the first gate. He was out of bondage, but the city was not yet seeing him. Then he moved past the second gate. And then he came to a mysterious gate called the iron gate that opens to the city. There is a gate that when it opens, the next thing you see is the city. You can be free from prison, but if the iron gate is still shut, the nations will not hear your voice. You can be in a territory where you have products. You are a man of God. You are a business person. Listen to me. I didn't come to waste your time tonight. I came to speak because there are gates that should not be open. It should be broken. He has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder so that your children and your children's children can pass. Peter was out of the prison. But he was still in bondage. He came to a gate called the iron gate that opens to the city. When that gate is opened, you contact a grace called the hear ye him anointing. And whether you climb the mountain, they will come. Whether you go by the sea, they will come. There is a grace called hear ye him. It's an instruction to creation. Hear ye him means whatever it would take. To make sure this voice is not silenced. Whether it is resources. Whether it is partners. Whatever it would take. Oh donkey if you must speak, speak. Oh fish if you must bring coin, bring it. Let me declare over someone here. In the name of Jesus Christ. I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. And I speak over your life and your destiny. You have tabernacled here from morning even till now. I call upon my God who is also your God. That in the name of Jesus. Every door and every gate. Standing your way. To, uh, to, that is not allowing you to find visibility. I speak to that door and that gate. A fata be opened. In the name of Jesus. Be opened. In the name of Jesus, gates of influence, gates of finances, ministerial gates, gates over territories. In the name of Jesus, by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic, I declare over those gates, be open now. Be open now. And the gates will say, who is this king of glory? And I reply, the Lord strong and mighty. The one mighty in battle. Every stagnation in your life. Listen, you know there is delay in your life when the only thing growing is your age. If the only thing growing in your life is in your age, you are in trouble. Because the Bible says in Luke 2.52, it says, And Jesus increased in wisdom, in stature, in favor with God and with men. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus who died and rose again. Everything that has, you don't have to come forward. I decree and declare. Everything tying you down in one place. So that you see even your contemporaries come and move forward. And you live in pain and regret. I speak to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Be released right now. Go forward in the name of Jesus. Hear me? The Bible says it was the Lord that caused Moses and Aaron to advance. People do not just go forward. It takes more than desire to advance. There is the hand of God that can come upon a man. I decree and declare, whatever has stopped you from advancing, hear me? By the power of prophecy, I speak over your life. Go forward now in Jesus' name. And there are people who are going forward, but in truth, you are not making progress. Something that should be done in a, in a month is taking five years. The hand of the Lord came upon Elijah, and Elijah ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. I decree and declare the grace for speed. Ten years in one year, may that grace come upon you. Ten years in one year, one year in one month. In the name of Jesus Christ. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21. 
and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that as ye go, ye shall not go empty. Esther chapter 2 and verse 15, be part and Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. I decree and declare the grace for favor that can bring ease and acceleration to a life. May that grace rest upon you. I'm almost done. The Bible says, and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. There are times you are gifted but you do not have access to the palace. You will need someone already in the palace to speak for you. Joseph pleaded with the wine presser and said, please when you go advocate my honesty. The wine presser's forgetfulness added two extra years to the pain of a man. I don't know who should remember you and has forgotten you and is multiplying your pain and delay that night could not the king sleep and he said bring me the chronicles and they opened and saw where Mordecai had saved his life but was not rewarded I stand by prophecy and I declare may the book of remembrance be open concerning you this night in the name of Jesus Christ May the book of remembrance be open concerning you. In the name that is above all names. And the Bible says they lost the donkey of Kish. And Saul went around looking for that donkey. And for three days they could not find it. And then the servant said there is a man. He's a seer. Let's stop this labor of shadow boxing. And go circumspect. And they met this mysterious man called Samuel. And Samuel said, go up and I will tell you what is in your heart. And as soon as he encountered the prophet, three things happened. Number one, he said the donkey that has been missing has now been restored. Let me speak to you that everything that has left your life that should not have left, provided it is on earth, I command it to find its way back to your destiny. Number two, he says as you return, you will meet three men holding two loaves of bread. They will salute you and give to you. Say honor. I declare, may that mantle and grace for honor. Where you have been deserted so that no man will pass through you. I call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. And then he says, you will come to the garrison of the Philistines. And that there the hand of the Lord will come upon you. And the spirit of God came upon an ordinary gentleman. And Saul was turned into another man. I pray for you. The way you entered this auditorium, the way you came for this program, is not the way you will return back. You entered empty, void of favor, void of wisdom, void of access to light. But I empower you. Go back full of light. Go back full of wisdom. Go back full of grace. Go back full of favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. And hear me, everything connected to witchcraft and ancestry and orchestrations of darkness that will not let you stand in the liberty where which Christ has brought you into. I speak over you. The Bible says we have been called out of every tribe and every tongue and every nation. Therefore, I separate you from everything that is connected to bloodline and foundations and ancestry. Be free for it now and forever. In the name of Jesus. For my Bible declares blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us. It says he nailed it to his cross. Let there be no railing accusation against you from the pit of hell. You stand like Joshua the high priest and that robe that is stained is removed from you and a new robe is given to you. I declare be blessed in Jesus name. And for all the organizers, I pray for you. A worker is worthy of his wages. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Go from glory to glory. Go from grace to grace. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you.